The AJC Derby is next. And this is from Randwick. The Australian Jockey Club, I presume AJC stands for. Uh oh Stand to be corrected. A very small field for this Group 1. It's a low... I don't know. Is it, is it a low-grade Group 1? Actually, I think it might be. Anyway, it's a three-year-old flip die at the top for Darren Thompson. Victory Bond, Martin Leedham. Carolina, David Robertson. Electric Ember for Munas. And Money Pit for Joshua Sutherland. I've got a feeling this is one of those low-grade Great ones that nobody's really all that happy about. Right, make it a Great one or don't. Right, make it open if it is. And away they go. And Money Pit... Is the first one to show pulling for its head. The grey victory bond is the second. Two greys in the field, in fact. Electric Ember, the other one, and it's victory bond who's gone off into the lead, but now immediately collared again by Money Pit. As they're playing a bit of cat and mouse through the first few furlongs. And Money Pit and victory bond bond disputing the lead. Carolina back in third, and then flip dive fourth, and Electric Ember is in fifth. I think the idea behind this race was to run it the same week as the Derby. So the horse has got a chance, if you want to make it a Group 1, you might as well make it open and then let the top horses go in it as well, otherwise make it a Group 2 or something, but it may be open for all I know, all I know is I've got one in it that's not really good enough to win a Derby, but he's in this. Anyway, it's Victory Bond in the lead from Money Pit in second. And then Carolina is third. Flip Die is fourth. And the one that's a bit off the pace is Electric Ember. We will no doubt see at the end when we see the ratings of them. And it's Victory Bond and Money Pit disputing the lead with five and a half furlongs still to go. Carolina is in third. Flip Die is fourth. And Electric Ember is back in fifth. They're quite well strong at at this point and victory bond has now kicked on into the lead looks like he wants to try and make a make it a stiff test of stamina there's a bit of a mud lot this victory bond i don't think it's soft enough for him today though so he's clear in the lead by about five lengths money pit is in second then carolina is back in third and then flipped eye and electric in but they've still got three furlongs to go and money pit is riding his finish or uh, sorry victory bond the jockey's riding his finish already, but Carolina's moved smoothly through into second. Money Pit is back in third. Flip Die is fourth, and then Electric Ember is fifth as they pass the two pole. And Victory Bond continuing to lead at the moment. Carolina is eating up the ground, and now Money Pit being switched out for a run. So two flip tyres. Victory Bond hits the wall as expected, and Carolina sweeps by on the outside. They're inside the final furlong. Carolina's hit the front. Victory Bond to his credit. He's trying to fight back, but this is going to be Carolina all the way, and Carolina takes it from Money Pit second. Flip tie. He's going to be third, and Victory Bond just held on to fourth from Electric Ember. And the jockey salutes the crowd. He knows it's a group one. And another one for David Robertson. Let's take a full look. And Carolina was the winner for David Robertson. Money pit second for Joshua Sutherland. Flip time for Darren Thompson third. Victory bond for Marsley on fourth. And... Electric Ember for Munas was fifth, and looking at that, I'm guessing that was a north to a hundred. It wasn't a handicap, but I think it was capped at a hundred. So, I'm not really sure whether I agree with it being a group one of the capping them at a hundred. 